We arm and dangerous. I can't stop singing that song. I've been listening to Meet the Woo all day. And I keep saying out of nowhere, we armed and dangerous. Like, it's just hard. Like, <laughs> the song is just hard, bro. Anyway, yo, welcome back once again. This is your boy, Bonnie Rasta, and we're here for another photography video. This is actually a spare photography video that I had um, and we were in when we were in LA, and I shot with the Maya RB67. So, I brought this big, heavy ass motherfucker right here, and we shot in LA. Uh, I know you guys probably previously seen my video in the Shiga T3. Um, yeah, that was way better to carry in Porter and Porter Eyes. Carrying this heavy ass thing in my bag and having to keep getting it in and out, which is constantly just too much. Kind of just too much. That's why I was already thinking about just getting a, another 6 7 camera because I love this camera in its, in, in its entirety, but it's just way too heavy for me right now. Anyway, today is actually about some of the roles we shot. So I shot a couple roles with my boy Fred. Fred is um, Fred is a designer. I would call him more, or just uh, Fred is just an artist. Fred is just a really dope person. Fred is somebody who makes hats. Like that's like more of his passion and what he's been going about. He's been taking hats and putting his own designs in them and everything like that, and they turned out really, 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 really dope. I would highly suggest you guys checking out Fred's page. His name is Fred Kruger on Instagram. Great, great dude, solid dude, bro. He does model. You know, you know what I mean? Back and forth, but like I said, he's more of an artist. Uh, yeah, I probably seen Fred in some of the other videos too because he, uh, he his picture was in the last video uh, when we were just walking around and I was shooting on the uh, Yashiga T3. But this video all today is about the Lamar RB67, so I might as well put that in the frame. But yeah, this video was actually about the Lamar RB67 right here. So um, traveling out there, I just wanted to get a couple shots and stuff like that. So. I wanted to show you guys a couple. I actually shot actually on uh, the Lamography Purple color film, uh, Lamography 400 Purple. Um, really good the way it turned out. I think I probably could have done a better job on it. I mean, I do like the photos, don't get me wrong, but I probably could have done a better job on it. Like uh, my latest couple of videos and stuff like that that i put out before but i do like the photos and how the way they came out and, and everything especially some of these photos hold on let's just go ahead and go through through them now so this is probably the best photo that we actually took uh on a lamography uh purple 400 it was really just like we we just found this really cool spot it was just like this big garden area with all the palm trees around and everything like that um so I just had Fred stand in between of them, kind of like the center in the middle of these uh, three palm trees and kind of bent over by the hedges, by the uh, other plants and everything like that. And then just took that photo. Uh, then we had another <laughs> another photo, which is funny. If you see that dude in the back with the bandana on his head, bro was just, if you see that dude in the back with the bandana over there, bro would just, just came out of nowhere. This is out of nowhere. And he was just like, when I was sitting there taking a the picture, he was like, yo, son, check this out. And we was just sitting there like, yeah. We was like, we knew we was about to get some head-ass wisdom. If you don't know what head-ass wisdom is, that's when some crazy-ass shit come out of nowhere. But it's low-key true. All right, so we got some head-ass wisdom. So he was just like, yo, son, check this out. What you doing right now, it don't come from here. It come from here. He just looked at us in our eyes, and we was just sitting there like this. Then he just disappeared out of nowhere. He was like a magical homeless man. Like he just disappeared out of nowhere and it was crazy. And I was stuck there and I was like, that nigga low key right. <laughs> I was saying to God, I was, I was like, yeah, but he's low key, he was right. Like, let's, let's keep it a buck. Then there's another picture where you can see Fred trying not to laugh. <laughs> Then it was another one where we uh, were actually in front of the, uh, the shop I took some pictures of in the last time. And this time I just had kind of Fred kind of sit on the curb, like right in between of the shots. Just because it just made, it just, it gave you a really good urban city vibe. Like normally when I go out and I shoot photography, I'm usually a street photographer. So I'll just be out in the streets and just looking for different nice things. So LA was really a playground for me, if you, if you can put it that way. So I love this store, so we decided to hit it back up over there again. Then I was also we went back over to that gold store that I took some pictures of in front of it, in front of too. Then other than that, I just wanted to get some buildings behind Fred just to kind of just give that kind of city vibe. Yeah, to give give that kind of city urban 
type of vibe. You know what I mean? Just being in like a big bustling city. And this other photo is probably my favorite photo. Just because I like how the way the palm trees is. And then like you can just see Fred's silhouette. Like I can just see the palm trees how the way it is. And like you can just see Fred's like silhouette. So it's kind of like lit like right here. But the rest of them is dark. And then you just see the palm trees in the background. I just love that photo. Also, I forgot to mention that uh, I did actually had a chance to shoot some photos uh, with the Rito 3D before I left. Uh, and I never got to actually take the chance to take the Rito 3D out to LA because I actually forgot it here. Uh, but I did take some pictures with the Rito 3D like when I was still here. And I'm, I'm really loving 3D photography. I really love how the 3D film of it came out. Um, the one thing about the, 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 really the one thing about the Rito 3D that kind of like, is kind of bothering me is that the flash is not as strong as like, uh, you see like the, the Shika N8000, where it actually has an external flash. It's like a really, really bright flash. It takes really, really great pictures. It's something I'm probably going to end up owning anyway. But, uh, the Rito 3D, it was a really, really, really good camera, uh, as far as like having the effects and having that 3d natural effect that a lot of people really don't particularly see a lot of the times i know it got popularized in movie and man, music videos and stuff like that and then uh, it kind of went away for a little bit but i recently bought the rito 3d uh, 3d it was about a hundred dollars nothing crazy um got it in used it really well uh i'm actually gonna have a video coming up uh excuse me i actually had a, i actually gonna have a video coming up about the rito 3d soon i'm actually going to take it out and do a couple photo shoots with it but just for now before i do the full video on the retail 3d i wanted to put something out for you guys to show you guys like some some of the stuff that came through um i might be switching from the my rb67 so uh it's just that weight that's just kind of like irritating me and uh, having to lug it around and everything like that. Of course, you can just get like a neck harness or whatever, or just a body harness to carry it around and stuff. But it just, it is, it is a bit of a work type of thing and it's weighing on me. So like I said, I love this camera. I love, I love the camera. I love the images it produces and everything like that. Uh, it's just that weight, man. <laughs> that weight, that weight is getting to me. It's really getting to me but like i said love the images i love everything it produces uh it's had a it had a good run with me and everything but it might be time to shelf this for a little bit uh and then to get a new beginning if you want to put it that way uh we shall see in the future coming soon uh but yeah um love the my rb67 man it's just just the way like i said uh but again, I want to thank y'all for tuning into this video. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Uh, if you could do me a favor, just like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Share the video if you liked it. I really appreciate it, yo. Uh, once again, thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your comments. I appreciate all you guys' DMs. I appreciate all you all your questions. I just hit myself in the mouth like a dumbass. <laughs> I appreciate you guys' DMs, like coming through, asking me questions, and all these other things, bro. It's just been mind blowing for me. Uh, even getting recognized in the street is just mind blowing for me because like I've never had anything of this sort like, happen to me and then, like the YouTube channel is coming along and it's growing really really fast and I really appreciate it. Um, like I said, man, thank you guys. Also, shout out to the people who've been liking the shirts. Like I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, man, thank you guys for coming through, bro. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. All right, shoot a shoot. <laughs>